and to figure out how to tell Charlie's wife what happened to her freezer full of meat. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. <clears throat> Dr. J, thank God. Hey, Lucille, how's everything going? We had a call from an angry father. Apparently, his daughter refused to take a bath after seeing that French film that Hitchcock made the film crew on Psycho Watch for inspiration. Diabolique? Yes, that one. And now she refuses to take a shower after watching Psycho. What should I tell him? Tell him to take her to the dry cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him, Dr. J. Hey, sweetheart, did you lose your sense of humor along with your body? Shut up, bird. Make me. Don't make me get all Ozzy Osbourne on you and bite your head off. I'd like to see you try. Come on, guys, settle down. This is our first episode of the Office of Demonology. Let's look professional, OK? When is that bird getting out of here? Look, Edgar's out of work. I said he could stay with us until he gets back on his feet. He's not even looking for work. He doesn't even talk. Well, he's depressed. Give him time. It's not Edgar. It's his raven. I find him off-putting, and Dr. J is too nice to tell them to leave. Hey, Edgar. Did you hear about the time Norman Bates was in a job interview? He was asked if he had any experience running a motel. He said no, but I'll take a stab at it. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get some work done. Lucille sent out an email blast about the new episode of The Real Demons of Pop Culture that's all about Psycho. What should I do? You can clean your cage. Yeah, you filthy animal. I'm warning you, sweetheart. <laughs>